Hey, 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 it's Kari with Kari Caldwell Studios. Today we're going to go over a transformation I did with a Maker Studio products. I was invited out to my client's mother's home to look at this piece of oak furniture she had for over 30 years. She knew she was craving a change and couldn't find a piece of furniture on the market to really fit the space, so we decided painting was her best option. I went ahead and showed them a few samples, although we did change the color from the original samples to weather shutters and biscuits and gravy with our rescue and restore chalk base paint. The first step you want to do is use our furniture cleaner and clean your entire piece with a soft cloth. After cleaning her, she was so thrilled with the way it came out, I invited her to paint to clean other pieces of her furniture with the exact same cleaner with no need to paint. The first step is to pour your paint into a tray and use our foam roller. And you just want to just pour it out and go with the grain of the wood and roll it on. The coverage is beautiful. You always want to stay with the grain of the wood starting on the inside. You do want to do two coats as that gives you the best look. Now this may look a little chaotic, but this is the Kari way. I go ahead and use the weathered shutters to depict some of the molding that I want and I just do it as quick as I can doing two coats. I don't want to tape twice so I just kind of make a mess of it but don't worry it cleans up. You can see I have the, the paint all painted where I wanted the extra gray color, the extra weathered shutters and then I just block it off with some painters tape and go ahead and use my biscuits and gravy. The last step is to go ahead and clear and dark wax. You're going to see the amount of dark wax, very little. I also love staging my client's pieces and I staged her, pieces, her piece back with all of her old china that she has collected over the years from mothers, aunts, grandmothers, all vintage, all beautiful, but she's never seen it displayed quite like this before. You can see the transformation turned out really pretty and the light amount of wax that I used, just ever so subtle. Don't overdo your waxes. Um, that's the clear coat that you can use for your piece and the transformation looks great. She was more than thrilled, felt like she bought a new piece of furniture and we just transformed it with paint. If you're interested in having more in-depth conversations on painting your pieces of furniture, you can always join me in my secret source club where I share with others a monthly tutorial on how to paint the Kari way. Stay creative.